Hello. Recently, I purchased a, a clay pot and uh, it just arrived. I'm going to be doing the unboxing right now. So stay tuned. You see? It's from Italy. Fragile. It's not from Italy. It's a line from uh, Christmas uh, movie. Maybe I should have it a little bit lower like this. Well, it's boxed very well. Oh. Miriam's earthen cookware. Read me first. <laughs> So the first thing that we're gonna do is you gotta season it. Uh, rinse the pot and lid thoroughly under running water. Do not use any kind of soap. Set aside for 10 minutes, then wipe pot down with cotton towel and, and season in the following way. Fill the pot slash pan a quarter way up with water. Sprinkle one tablespoon of any flour and for this kind of pot, this is the large pot, yes. One, one um, tablespoon of flour. Number three, stir, cover, and cook on low to medium heat until it thickens to a broth. So first we're gonna rinse it. Um, then we're gonna dry it. Then we're gonna cook one tablespoon of flour inside of it for about 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, and also I got a heat diffuser because it is, um, We have an uh, an electric uh, stove. Ha <clears throat> ha! Oops! It has a little hole here, and a little bit chipped underneath. But that's okay. That's expected. It has two tiny little pinholes here, but that isn't going to affect the the cooking process. I gotta tell you the the um, the packaging. Thumbs up. So this is it. No imperfections of any type. Obviously it's handmade, so... So the interior is rather rough to the touch. And that is expected. But uh, after it is seasoned, and it's been used for a while, it becomes much, much, much smoother. I'm very happy 
that uh, the top, the lid, uh, fits this way because um, I'm going to, you know, when I bake things in the in the oven, <clears throat> I will make a seal with uh, flour and a little bit of water and put it around the, the, the perimeter here to set, you know, to seal the contents so it will cook much, much, much better. So I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to cook the flour. Stick around. So here I am. I have this scrubby thing. I have the pot here. I'm going to start with the lid. Good old cold water. No soap or anything. So, 
according to the directions. Set aside for 10 minutes, then wipe down with cotton cloth and season in the following way. So I have to wait for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set the, the clock here, the timer. Ten minutes. So the ten minutes came and left. Uh, I have filled the pad with uh, with water one quarter of the way up. Now it tells me to sprinkle sprinkle one tablespoon, actually two because this is the large, with ta two tablespoons of uh, whole wheat or you know. So I have whole wheat flour. So let me just. Uh, Two tablespoons, tablespoon one, tablespoon two, uh, stir, cover, and cook on low to medium heat until it thickens to a broth. So I, whoops, I also bought a diffuser here and the diffuser comes with uh, directions to put this, the bubbly side down on glass stove tops, glass top stoves. I'm gonna set it to medium, what's number five. All yours always use non-abrasive cookware and um, you don't want to use metal it says sprinkle I didn't sprinkle I just dumped it in so it's kind of lumpy all right so sprinkle stir cover and cook on low to medium heat To low to medium heat. So let me just turn it around. So soon, Kiriet on la on su, Kev logison tingler on no me and su, Ni cast is okay. Um, so this is gonna stay here for 25 to 35 minutes. All right, 35 minutes it is. Bingo. So basically, if you go online and you search the internet about clay, uh, earthware, pots, uh, you're gonna find all kinds of different uh, instructions on how to season them, how to, how to clean them, da, 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 da. But I follow the directions from the manufacturer, Miriam's Earthen Cookware. I'm not associated with them. I received this, uh, I paid full price. I didn't receive any uh, uh, any comps from them. Um, I'm looking forward to cooking with this uh, pot. I bought from them also. This thing, heat diffuser. So, I hear it sizzling a little bit, so. The direction said, 
don't muck with it. Stir, cover and cook on low to medium heat till it thickens to a broth. Average 25-35 minutes. Of course, afterwards, I'm going to have to uh, let it cool down and dump the contents. See you in 35 minutes. Okay, time came, 35 minutes. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to turn off the heat. I have to say the top is hot, but I can still touch it. While I was, when I started it, this, the sides, they became sort of wet. Let me see. It is sort of a thick paste. So I'm gonna let it sit here. I'll give it an hour. Let me set it here, 50 minutes, an hour to cool down and then I'm gonna wash it. So I'll see you in an hour. Okay, sufficient time passed. And this thing is completely cooled down. Um, the diffuser, the heat diffuser, it had a little bit of a condensation. I just wanna wipe it off. By putting my hand in, I find in a couple of spots, you know, it needs more scrubbing. Follow the manufacturer's uh, directions, washed it, did the initial, initial seasoning, and for the next couple of days, three days, I'll be cooking it for, you know, like two, three times a day. And um, I'll try and make uh, breakfast tomorrow morning. Ooh, see what happens. I don't know, what will I make? Hmm. Ah. Spanish omelet. Hmm. And let's see how that's going to turn out. All right. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Uh, today, the day after the seasoning of the the my earthware, my my new cooking pot. Today I'm going to make um, shakshuka, which is basically uh, eggs cook cooked within, uh, you know, um, uh, onions and uh, uh, vegetables and things like that in a tomato sauce. So let me show you. I have my trusted heat diffuser that I'm going to have this side down, it says right here I'm gonna set the temperature to four three and a half out of ten of course I have my egg ready I'm gonna set the pot so this is warming up I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil And I have um, I'll say a smallish onion that uh, 
I'm going to add to the bottom of the pan. Since this is the first time I'm using this uh, contraption, um, <clears throat> I'm really not sure. You know, you can set it. You know, on an, in a, normally I would set it on, uh, let's say, uh, six, six and a half, and uh, saute any raw material, vegetables. You know, like uh, onion and things like that. And if the once the pot, the regular pot got uh, all he heated up then uh, I would be able to, to saute the onion very, very quickly. But in this case, um, you know, this, you know, using earthware, um, you know, you need to go a little bit slower. And the food does cook, you know, m you know much slower. So, I have it set to, to three and a half. Oh, I'm gonna up it to four. All right, and I'll give it um, a little bit of time. It's 10.22 right now. I wanna uh, see, I wanna, I wanna wait and see how quickly will the onion begin to sizzle. So I've closed this. It will take probably a couple of minutes. Um, I left the pot outside all night. So, uh, you know, these kind of pots don't like sudden uh, changes of temperature. With other words, you don't want to have it in the refrigerator and then put it on the stovetop and crank up the heat. So I have to get used to it. And uh, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Uh, also, what do I have? I have here for the shakshuka. I have, I made um, a tomato based um, concoction with the peas, uh, carrots, a little bit of celery. Uh, what else do I have in here? And a little bit of uh, green beans. And um, so, so I'm gonna use about two thirds of this concoction and I'm gonna, once I, once I cook the onion, then I'm gonna add the, the peas, green beans, and uh, the tomato-based uh, mixture. I'll warm that up, and then I'll make a little well in the middle. I'm gonna cook one egg. I don't wanna, you know, you can put two or more. Uh, but since I'm trying this thing out, I'll use only one egg and, you know, take it easy. All right, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. It says 10.24 now. I'll see you in a couple of minutes when the pot is ready. It's 10.26, nothing yet. I'm going to know it was. Oh, it's 10.29. It started steaming here, it started getting warmed up. Good. I don't know if you can see uh, from the edges, there seems to be some steam escaping, which I presume that is moisture trapped inside the, uh, the, the, the the body of the pot. There is definitely, uh, this is definitely heating up, but uh, it's not sizzling yet. And it's uh, 1031. Let's see, it's uh, 1032. I still see some steam uh, escaping. Now the, the, uh, the onion started to sizzle. I have to cook the onion just a little bit longer. And also I presume, you know, with um, 
you know, metallic uh, uh, cookware, you know, I see, yeah, and I do too, you know, like people bang, bang, bang the spoons to, to, to clean them up, you know, from the food. And anyway, so the, here you have to be a little bit careful because this is uh, made of clay and you don't want to start banging it, banging, you know, the spoon on the sides of it. figure out a way. It is definitely hot, much hotter, but you can still touch it a little bit. Oh, definitely. 1037, the onions are sizzling now. Definitely. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I will add this concoction. Perhaps I should let this cook down a little bit first and then add the, uh, the egg. Okay, it's 1040. This is looking good. I have a little towel here. So when I set the, the top, you know, this is clay, right? You need to treat it with respect. So now I'm going to add my egg. And I'm going to close it. And um, normally... I'll say normally it takes about 10 minutes for the mixture to cook down nicely, you know, the vegetables and all that, and for the egg to cook. So uh, I don't, personally, I don't like the egg too runny. So um, I'll see. But uh, it's 1041 right now. And I'll come back in about 10 minutes and check it out, see how the egg looks and uh, take it from there. 10.46, the top is getting hot. You know, I can still pick it up for here, but just in case. The food is sizzling here. The egg is still raw. Okay. But, um, You need to have, you know, when you make shakshuka, you have to have the cover on so the steam cooks the egg from the top. Okay. So it's 1047. See you in a few minutes. I think I'm going to turn down the heat to two and a half. It's going a little bit too fast. Yep. And I'm going to have to add a little bit of liquid on the bottom. So, so looks like the number, the, the, the temperature gate, the, the setting needs to be much, much lower than four. So I have it at two and a half. Um, 
Looks like the shakshuka is ready. The egg is cooked the way I like to. I'm turning it off. Now we gotta get a plate. Hello, plate. So everything's turned off here. So here's the shakshuka. Uh, as you can see, the egg is well done. I should have checked it out earlier. So what I will do, I will add a little bit of water on the bottom to make the cleanup a little bit easier later on. But um, so next time what I will do, I will set that temperature to four, four and a half initially to get the pot going. And then I'm going to reduce it to two and a half because four and a half is too much. All right, now time to have my shakshuka. Uh, have a great day. So now after the first um, dish that I cooked the the shakshuka. I'm gonna wash the the pot. I see that underneath it has a little bit of has blackened, and that's fine. Um, gonna get a little bit of uh, warm water. Some, some solids here I'm going to scrape away. And now I have the clean um, dish, I mean the scrubber. This is naturally non-stick. There's still some material on the bottom. Hope you can see. Slowly comes off. You know, overall, to tell you the truth, I'm more than happy 
the way it performed. Uh, obviously, I didn't know what the heck I was doing the first time around. And I set the heat a little bit too high. I was way too excited to cook the first dish. So for electric, uh, for an electric range, I think four, you can set it to four initially, but then afterwards you need to notch it down to two, two and a half. I didn't think that made any sense, but boy, was I wrong. You know what I'll do? I'll add a little bit of salt on the bottom. You know what I'll do? I'll, uh, I'll add some water. And I'll let it soak for a few minutes and then I'll try it again. Now, according to the instructions, I've added a little bit of uh, warm water because this thing is uh, its not uh, coming off. I'm going to add some uh, good old baking soda. Always the same scrubby thing. And I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes and then I'm going to try um, scrubbing it off again. All right, see you in 10 minutes. Most of it has come out. There is a little, there are a few dark spots here. But, uh, looks like the, um, the baking powder did the trick.
and I forgot to wash the top. The top gets a lot of steam, so that should be washed also. This looks good. Whoops.